In the formation of planets and moons, size matters. Most scientists believe that when the moon was young, molten rock called magma covered its entire surface. Since the moon is smaller, it cooled much more quickly than the Earth and did not form a crust of separate land plates like the Earth did. Instead, its crust is a large piece of cooled rock, which is mostly basalt and feldspar. Because the moon has a solid crust, moonquakes, the moon's version of earthquakes, are very rare. We experience earthquakes when our crust plates rub against each other. But since the moon doesn't have plates, the few moonquakes that do occur are probably caused by shifting surface rocks responding to the gravitational pull of the Earth. Floating land plates formed the Earth's mountain ranges and volcanoes. With no floating plates on the moon, the topography is completely different. The moon has some landforms like mountains, but they were not formed in the same way, so they look very different from those we see on the Earth. Also, there are no active volcanoes on the moon. The moon's small volcanoes haven't erupted in 3.1 billion years, since the last of the basalt lowlands were laid down. We have one more important difference between the Earth and the Moon to review. Rock composition. During the voyages to the Moon, scientists collected rock samples from the Moon and brought them back to Earth to study. They discovered that the Earth and the Moon contain many of the same minerals, but not in the same amounts. The Moon rocks have higher amounts of the light metals and lower amounts of the denser metals. The rocks and minerals that make up the terry are very old. Most scientists believe they formed about 4.4 to 4.5 billion years ago. The main mineral in these lightly colored rocks is feldspar, while the darker maria are made of basalts. The moon has primarily two types of igneous rocks, basalts and feldspar. Igneous rocks are made when molten lava cools and solidifies. During formation of the moon, the lighter minerals, such as feldspar, floated to the top of the magma and cooled quickly to form the terry. The heavier minerals, such as basalt, sank low into the magma. As the top layer was cooling, the heavy basalts from below squeezed up through the cracks in the moon's crust filling in the low areas and cooling quickly. This process created the lunar basalts. The basalt samples from the moon are high in heavy minerals, such as iron and magnesium, and scientists estimate they were formed between 3.1 and 4.3 billion years ago. The lunar feldspar formed in a similar way to Earth feldspars, without water. This is another reason scientists believe there has never been liquid water on the moon. While the Earth and moon both have basalt and feldspar, the different concentration of each mineral has created two rocky surfaces that look very different from each other.